Hey, it's Chris from Sequin Design here. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to install a very good uh, plugin for Firefox. It's called uh, the uh, No Follow plugin. And basically, uh, if you read my blog, a, uh, a No Follow link, or actually a Do Follow link, is very important in the SEO world uh, because it um, it allows it tells Google to follow your links that are in other pages. In other words, um, if you put a link on on certain websites, for instance, like a directory website, if you put your link on there, some directory admins will add a no follow tag to your link, meaning that when Google crawls that site, it's not gonna follow your link. Therefore, a do follow link is better because Google will actually follow your link from another person's website or directory, uh, things of that nature. So this plugin is a good tool because it allows you to basically instantly tell whether a site has a do follow tag or a no follow tag. Um, First of all, in order to get this working, you're going to need, uh, obviously, Mozilla Firefox. Um, if you don't know what Mozilla Firefox is, maybe you should hire somebody to do this for you. Um, so we're going to start with Mozilla Firefox here. We already have it open. Um, as you can see, I'm on the add-ons page. The link for that is add-ons.mozilla.org. Um, or you can just go to mozilla.org, click uh, Firefox, and then click add-ons. Uh, we're going to do a search for this add-on. Um, like I said, it's called the No Follow plugin. So we just type that into the search here. And um, it's not the first link, but it's the should be the third one. It's called the No Do Follow. It's by Zachary Fox. Um, what you're going to want to do is just, you know, click add that to Firefox. Um, you can ignore this warning here. Install it. And then restart Firefox. Okay, Firefox is restarted. Um, now we are going to test out our plugin that we just installed um, by right clicking you will see the plugin here the no do follow plugin you just click it and it highlights the areas that do not that have a, 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 a no follow on them okay basically the blue links that you see here are the uh, do follow links. You will see red links that are no follow links. Um, we'll try and look some of these up here. Okay, Twitter is a perfect example of a website uh, or a website that has no follow links. Uh, people don't understand this about Twitter, but all of their links are no follow. Um, by right clicking the page here and enabling my no do follow plugin through Firefox, I can see here that these red links here are no follow links. Um, this is my Twitter account, it's twitter.com forward slash sequin design. Um, you know, these are basically uh, shortened URLs that, uh, that I've posted to my account uh, featuring blog postings that I've listed. Um, and you can see that they're red, which means Google is not going to follow my links when it sees them. Uh, so we'll just click on one of these links here go to my uh, blog here and you can see all of these purple links here these are follow links which are good because uh, you know here's some of my anchor text 
Um, and Google follows all of these links, okay? Uh, this is what my page looks like without the plugin installed. It looks pretty normal. Um, so that's basically it. That's the plugin for Firefox. Uh, very good tool to have if you do your own search engine optimization. If you need help with search engine optimization, feel free to contact us, sequindesign.com forward slash blog. There's a contact uh, feature here at the top. Just in your name and information, or give us a call at 727-277-9834. And uh, email me if you want, chris at sequindesign.com. That's C-H-R-I-S at sequindesign.com. Thank you for watching. See you.